Welcome to Year of the Metal Ox Leo. Year of the Yin Metal Ox begins on February 12th of 2021, lasting through until January 30th of 2022. I'm Pastor Rosemary, the Astrology Angel. I'm a Rosicrucian seer, Christian psychic, Biblical astrologer, and Gnostic mystic. And this is a readings by Rosemary Angelic Transmission. First, our disclaimer, high magic should be used with all mindfulness since powerful forces of manifestation are unleashed. This is intended exclusively for entertainment purposes. Now, how do ox communicate? With plenty of yakking. Yin metal ox is also known as gold ox year and is that animal in Chinese astrology and those elements are thought to be always very energetic, very on the go and very also dynamic. Now, yin metal gold ox leads a, an eventful and sometimes hectic lifestyle with plenty of admiration from others. Yin metal ox is therefore rather well accepted among family and friends and co-workers and associates, especially because she or he is very reliable and very diligent. Fame, esteem, respect, popularity, and honor come very easily to the yin metal gold ox. Now, people might say that yin metal ox is too proud. Nonetheless, gold ox has a right to be. Remind any would-be detractors not to confuse arrogance with confidence. Gold ox possesses a determined self-assuredness, giving strength to yin metal eloquence and actually sensitivity. Now, it's important to remember that Ox came in second place in the Jade Emperor's Zodiac race. More on that later on in this video. But for now, we're going to take a, a look at uh, specifics and particular points and elements for you, Leo, during the year of the Yin Metal Ox. Okay, now for our astrology, lucky charms for Leo the Lion during year of the Yin Metal Ox. Uh, for the Zodiac and astrology lucky charms fortunate charms we have for leo's lucky gemstone is peridot and leo's fortunate colors are gold yellow burgundy and red and leo's lucky numbers are four six and ten four six and ten and for metal ox, lucky charms, the lucky gemstones for metal ox are carnelian, garnet, cat's eye, tiger iron, yellow citrine, jasper, and amethyst. Amethyst. Okay, now the colors, the fortunate colors for metal ox are red, gold, yellow, and purple. And the lucky numbers for metal ox are 3, 8, and 9. Now we're going to get more specifically into number combinations and the particulars about that. The number 8 and numbers that add up to 8 are considered steadfast and auspicious during yin metal ox year. Numbers that add up to 9, such, a, such as like, um, like 144, uh, that's very fortunate during gold ox year. Regarding numbers to avoid, the numbers 5 and 6 are not recommended during a yin metal ox year. Now for color combination uh, particulars and the specifics of your color combinations, generally the color blue is considered lucky in an ox year. However, uh, blue is not as auspicious during uh, a yin metal ox year as in other elemental ox transits. Now colors that are not recommended during year of the ox are green and white. Nevertheless, for the duration of a yin metal ox year, white is more fortunate than during other ox years due to yin metal attributes and therefore moonstone charms, which uh, a lot of people like moonstone a lot, are, are more lucky during yin metal ox years than for other elemental ox years. So those are the particulars. Okay, now to get into the compatibility for yin metal ox year, ox loves other ox personalities. Ox also loves snake and rooster. Now, ox really likes dragon, monkey, rat, dog, and tiger. And ox likes horse, pig, 
and rabbit. Ox does not like, dislikes goat. Goat. All right, now for the Leo fixed fire, your fixed fire Leo personality during a yin middle ox year will become very constant, very congealed and soothed as the earth component of ox influences the controlled arrow fire constituent of Leo. In addition to that, the aspect of, of metal will amplify the confident willpower of Leo while watery and dark yin element cools Leo's temperament. During gold ox transit, Leo could well become somewhat annoyed from the ostensibly tedious and laborious characteristics of yin metal ox year. Nevertheless, this is an amazing opportunity for the lion to pay attention to self, family, and home, and friends, and landscaping, for example, and also work, your job, or your career. Okay? Leo, now keep in mind that although too much earth can nullify fire, selecting the proper kind of earth can manifest wonders in Leo's life by giving Leo the ability to help others with the lion's campfire style generosity. For example, incense is an earthbound substance that fire can turn into beautiful aromas that can be used for rituals, parties, or therapeutic atmospheres suited to Leo's taste. Once the incense is turned from a solid into a gaseous state, Leo must use this time of transformation to the lion's benefit. Since ox year associates with the season of winter, the type of self-transformation Leo decides upon using ritual, crafts, meditation, or performance art will become fixed into the lion's reality, all right? Now, also, therefore, it, understand that it's essential that Leo select what is truly in the lion's best interest. What is in your best interest, Leo, when deciding what to work on during yin metal ox year? Now, since Leo is very creative, take this into account when choosing a relationship or career or a home or a project, any kind of endeavor or venture during this yin metal gold ox transit. Okay, now we're going to get into the Chinese astrology zodiac animal association for Leo and how that fits in to the, the Jade Emperor's great race, the great race. All right, now. We have Leo here on the Western astrology. It's, it's in the, the fifth, uh, the natural fifth house. And Leo is associated with monkey in Chinese astrology. And it's a seasonal thing, okay? For example, uh, ox year, this yin metal ox year, all ox years are associated with Capricorn. It's a winter time. It's associated with Capricorn, not Taurus. Taurus is in the spring. So the oxen is different. It's associated with Capricorn because of the winter element that we were, that we were discussing earlier. So you have Capricorn for ox. And then Leo is similar to monkey. Now, Leo's place in the Jade Emperor's Zodiac Grace Western Astrology sign of Leo corresponds with Chinese Zodiac animal of monkey. Legend has it that the Jade Emperor held a race to place 12 animals on the Zodiac Wheel. Monkey came in ninth place in this race held by the Jade Emperor. Sheep, which is associated with Cancer. Monkey, which is associated with Leo. And Rooster, associated with Virgo, used a raft found by Rooster, that's Virgo, to journey on the river currents in order to finish the Jade Emperor's race for placement on the Chinese astrological wheel. Now, Monkey and Rooster, that's Leo and Virgo, were happy to let Sheep, who's Cancer, go before them to finish the race because they like Sheep's comforting nature. Now, with with these three animals, camaraderie was more important than competition. Therefore, their cooperation gave them not first place, rather, they shared a great gift of their friendship, finding tremendous delight in helping each other and working together became more important. That's a good moral to that story. Now, Leo the Lion, year of the Yin Metal Ox lesson. What is going to be Leo's lesson during year of the Yin Metal Ox? We have that you should avoid those who would attempt to goad or push or prod Leo into relinquishing hold of the lion's well-earned and well-deserved comfort zone. Your comfort zone. Don't give it up. Don't give up what makes you comfortable. Leo knows all about adventure and has plenty of it, though best experienced in the lion's own well-prepared timing. That's important, the timing. So stick to your own timing. Don't let, let people uh, rush you, okay? Those attempting to prod Leo into abandoning preparedness, luxury, and comfort, all the while chanting, loosen up a little, are doing so to sell the lion some unnecessary item, 
or service during gold ox year. Don't fall for it, Leo. Stand your ground. Yin metal ox year is a time to strengthen, protect, and nurture riches you have already acquired. It's not time to try to go chasing after some new get rich quick scheme. It's a time to take care of what you've already acquired in yin metal ox year, the gold ox year. Okay, now, Leo, the lion year of the yin metal ox blessing. What is your blessing for the lion for yin metal ox year? Expect more constancy in those relationships which Leo has already established in life, being romance and, or family or friends or even business associates, those tried and true. Now, Leo's treasures and properties are also what will become solidified, secured, and built upon in gold ox transit, okay? So also the lion can expect more valued outcomes as well as increased victories with ongoing ventures during this transit. Wealth and success well earned find their way into the Leo's, um, the lion's coffers into your treasure with greater ease and greater consistency during this yin metal gold ox year. Okay, so, so what we're going to do now, Leo, is we're going to now get into uh, some particulars and some specifics for year of the yin metal ox. We're going to get into a lot of real important yin metal ox attributes, elements, and those kind of things, those kind of factors that will be so important for you during this transit. Western astrology sign of Capricorn corresponds with Chinese zodiac animal of ox. Legend has it that the Jade Emperor held a race to place 12 animals on the zodiac wheel. Now ox came in second place in this race held by the Jade Emperor. Now ox was thought to be strong and most capable of crossing the river that had to be negotiated to win the Jade Emperor's race by the scheming animals of rat and cat who, who hitched a ride on ox in an attempt to use ox's strength and stability to win. What happened was this. Rat made a deal with cat to hitch a ride on top of ox because rat and cat were the best of friends and thought that ox would be able to cross the river faster and more assuredly than anyone else, thereby getting them excellent placements on the astrological wheel. Rat made a move that caused cat to be thrown off ox, allowing rat to get ahead of cat and even finish in first place before ox. Therefore, because ox was kind enough to allow shrewd rat and cat to hitch a ride, Ox came in second place with Rat finishing in front of Ox. Ox took second place in the Jade Emperor's race. Now we're going to talk about metal ox attributes. Yin metal ox has general ox qualities and is known to be well liked, also fashionable, hectic, affable, reliable, and self-motivated and always on the go and also working hard for themselves and also those for whom they care. Now, metal qualities will add much strength, steely nerve, also willpower, focus, self-assurance and determination to Ox's already resolute, tough and trustworthy personality attributes. For the year of metal ox, the yin metal ox, we're going to get in now to the advice for yin metal ox. Now, yin metal ox is a year to focus on the parts of life that bring out one's devotion to work, stubborn dedication to chosen organizations and personal social concerns such as status, fame, and popularity. Since metal ox is admired and easily becomes a center attraction at any gathering. With everyone going to pay attention to ox, especially metal ox. Now make sure to take time for self during metal ox year. Get enough hours of sleep, eat enough, and, and make sure you eat enough of the right kinds of foods, okay? You have to get the, the proper nutrition. Also, be sure to get in some recreation and plenty of sleep and relaxation time. Okay, now metal ox year is an excellent time frame in which to diligently stick to work projects or business plans. This is not a year to take big risks do outlandish things, nor try out new untested schemes. It's a good year to stabilize steadfast relationships like family, co-workers, and close friends. 
Indeed, this is the period to be steadfast and industrious because yin metal ox affords one resoluteness, also tenacity and attentiveness to do this and to do also all these other uh, secure and sturdy things and the tenacity that is required during metal ox year and especially yin metal ox year. Okay, now metal ox influence. What's the influence during metal ox year? Yin metal ox being uh, the second, again, of the 12 zodiac animals in Chinese astrology brings stability to any new cycle, fresh project, or novel endeavor begun, that's begun the, the, the year before. And earnest labor, willpower, fortitude, pragmatism, and constancy serve sustainable, steady, and, and will also entrench and also uphold and lock in any new work that is implemented. Year of the Ox repeats every 12 years in Chinese astrology, while Year of the Yin Metal Ox repeats every 60 years, occurring in 2021, 20, 2081, 2141, 2201, 2261 and 2321. Okay, 2321. That and then the, every 60 years after that. That's the yin metal ox year. Now, traditional Chinese zodiac places rat, which associates with Sagittarius in the Western astrology system at the beginning, November 22nd to December 21st, and pig, which associates with Scorpio at the ending, October. 23rd to November 22nd of the astrological wheel. It is intriguing to notice that the Chinese zodiac splits its beginning and ending between Rat Sagittarius and Pig Scorpio, which is right where the mysterious zodiac sign of Ophiuchus, the serpent bearer, is found. Now, Ophiuchus is often called the 13th zodiac sign. It's equally fascinating to become aware that the Celtic pagans consider the festival of Samhain on the 31st of October as actually being their new year. And, and Samhain is, is also called Halloween, but Samhain is the ancient uh, Celtic name. And again, the, they consider that festival on October 31st as actually being their new year. So also being a lunar calendar. That's, that's the significant part, lunar calendar. With that said, when corresponding with Western astrology, one would associate the head of the Western zodiac, which is Aries, with which is Aries with dragon, okay, and Pisces, uh, the tail of the Western astrology with rabbit. Okay, it is also fascinating to comprehend that there are in many cultures more than one New Year's celebratory festival. So, metal ox year is formed from the attributes of being the eighth heavenly stem of yin metal gotten from 10 celestial elemental qualities and the second earthly branch gotten from 12 terrestrial animal personalities. It's important to note, and especially in this aspect, that there are the 10 heavenly or celestial stems are derived from the five elements in Chinese astrology, which are fire, metal, wood, earth, and water. The ten qualities are comp comprised of the characteristics of yin and yang. And these are divisions within the assigned elemental attribute with this current year of the metal ox being a yin metal ox year. Therefore, there are ten aspects gotten from yin and yang characteristics of the five Chinese elements. Now, as far as the guardian angels for year of the yin metal ox primary guardian angels for yin metal ox year elemental archangel of metal is is a bit tricky okay because it's yin metal ox year yin metal ox year so it's kind of tricky uh, to get the western association and then to also um, get the the elemental archangels but we've done the work here and we're going to give it to you now uh, so since the Western elements do not include the elements of metal and wood. Chinese elements also, the Chinese elements do not include the element of air. Okay. Now, therefore, we shall div divulge the, uh, the closest approximations available using the element of yin 
and the Western Zodiac sign of Capricorn, the goat, to help us find the best representations because Capricorn goes with ox. Okay, Capricorn is the same as ox. Okay, so uh, we're going to use those to kind of come up with something that will be very, uh, a very good correspondence and something you can really bank on that, that is a very, very close approximation for you. Okay, so we can give you the, the best representations possible. Now, Elemental Archangel Gabriel of water, Elemental Archangel Gabriel of water, best represents for an elemental association since yin corresponds with water or moisture. The western zodiac sign of Capricorn, which corresponds to the Chinese animal zodiac sign of ox, is an earth sign corresponding to ox, which is also, uh, is also is associated with the constituent of earth. Therefore, Archangel of the element of water, being elemental Archangel Gabriel, will present as guardian angel during this astrological transit. Okay, again, year of the ox in Chinese astrology corresponds with the zodiac sign of Capricorn in Western astrology and consequently associates with the elemental archangel of earth signs. Elemental archangel of all the earth signs referred to in various ancient Christian Hebrew traditions as well as in scriptures as being the archangel Uriel. Archangel Uriel. Now, astrology angel of this seasonal aspect of Creator's great clock. We are taught through oral tradition and Kabbalistic writings that astrology archangel or zodiac angel Hanael is our association for this portion of Creator's cosmological progression exp expressed in extra biblical uh, Christian and also Jewish writings. Now, the book called Zohar. Zohar is what we recommend as a primary source of written Kabbalistic knowledge. These angels and archangels present in their feminine forms due to yin elemental association of yin metal ox year. So during a yin metal ox year, because it's yin, they will present in a more feminine form. Angels can present, you know, in various forms, sometimes more feminine, sometimes more masculine, because in yin it's going to be more feminine, because yin is feminine. All right. Now, the secondary uh, guardian angels for yin metal ox year. Planetary archangels which associate with Capricorn being uh, Western astrology correspondence for year of the ox is angelic ruler of Saturn being Archangel Cassiel. The Archangel Cassiel for Saturn because Saturn associates with Capricorn, okay? And awareness of both Western and Eastern astrology associations is very helpful. Now, Earth and Celestial Angelic Coordinates for Yin Metal Ox year. We're going to give those to you now. And we're going to start with the uh, Earth Coordinates first. We're going to go to the Earth Coordinates first. Because the Earth Coordinates where each element is on the earth is different from where the elements are in the heavens because on the earth it has to do with with how people feel their the where the hotter part or the colder part or the moist part or the cold wet you know and where the the dry cold where they they go with that whereas in the heavens it's going with the astrology signs the fixed signs of the zodiac uh that's what corresponds with with uh leo and, and Taurus and Aquarius and Scorpio because of the fixed signs, okay? And those go with the four archangels, okay? The four archangels that we're all very familiar with, okay? And we're going to go over that now. Now, first, Earth coordinates. Now, Earth coordinates of elemental guardian archangels. The North elemental archangel of Earth for in the North. So on for the Earth coordinates, the, the, north, the north coordinate for the elemental archangel of Earth is, is Uriel, all right? And for the east element, elemental, uh, archangel of air is Raphael, Raphael. And for the south, the elemental archangel of fire, Michael, 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 for the south, for fire on the, yes, on the earth coordinates. That's right, on the earth coordinates. Now the west elemental archangel of water for the west uh, coordinate uh, or the earth coordinates for the west uh, that would be Gabriel 
Gabriel, the Archangel of Water for the West Elemental Archangel of Water for Earth coordinates. Now, uh, celestial coordinates of elemental guardian archangels are going to go with the celestial coordinates. Now, when people do rituals, they utilize pentagrams for the Earth and they utilize uh, hexagrams for the, for the celestial. Okay? And, and these, these are, these are, you know, people say that, that something might, you know, be, uh, they think something, the one is evil and, and this, it's, they're all Kabbalistic in nature. And uh, also, please understand that, that many of these things are used, like, for example, the Pentagon is using, using a, it has a five-sided polygon, okay? Five-sided polygon and a, and a five-sided polygram, or, you know, would, would be a pentagram, would be something where the energy is brought in, where if it's a polygon where there's, the, the, the lines don't cross and they're just going around the outside, then that's where the energy is radiating out, okay? So the military uses this, uh, law enforcement uses these things. They're used for many things. They're certainly not evil, okay? They're, they're just simply... Uh, it's just a, a certain amount of, uh, it calls in certain forces that have to do with whether we're talking about earth or the heavens. That's all. Okay. So celestial coordinates, one's above, for elemental guardian angels, for the north, okay, for the north, elemental archangel of water. So in the north, in the, in the, in the sky, in the heavens, in, in north is water, and in the water is Archangel Gabriel, and Archangel Gabriel. This is the Merkaba field for the Archangel of Water, Gabriel. That's the Merkaba field. And those of you that are interested in, in Merkaba, Mer meaning rotating fields of light, Ka meaning spirit, and Ba meaning soul. Ba meaning soul. Okay, now for the celestial coordinates, the east elemental Archangel of Fire in the east, in the east, we have, we have Michael or Michael, because fire is in the east in the celestial coordinates. Now, in the south, the elemental archangel of earth is, is going to be Uriel. So we have uh, in the, in the uh, let me see, oh, I, I wanted to give you the, the Merkaba field for the celestial. Uh, the Merkaba field for fire for Michael for, for the, in the celestial coordinates. Again, it's the east, the east elemental archangel fire, Michael. This is the Merkaba field for the fire archangel. The Merkaba field for the fire archangel. Okay? All right. Now, south elemental archangel of earth, Uriel. So the archangel of earth, Uriel in the south. This is a Merkaba field. It looks like a three-dimensional star of David. It's, it's for Earth, it's for Uriel is in the south when we're talking about the celestial coordinates. So it's different from the Earth, okay? So Uriel, Earth, the south. And then for the west elemental archangel of air is Raphael, Raphael, for, for air, okay? That's in the west and air in the west. The celestial coordinates, Raphael, this is a Merkaba field for Raphael. One of my very dear friends, a gentleman named, named David, who is someone who I used to do psychic readings with. He's an, another psychic. We used to do uh, work at psychic fairs together. And he made these, all, these Merkaba field uh, presentations for me. He's a very talented individual. So I wanted to thank him for that. I still use them, obviously. Okay. And also, we're going to give you now fortunate compass directions. Now, year of the yin metal ox finds excellent fortune and expansive opportunity and richness in northern and southern directions. Northeastern and southeastern compass directions are not as beneficial during yin metal ox year as in other elemental ox years because metal element finds good fortune in westerly directions. Therefore, where usually ox must avoid westerly, northwesterly, and southwesterly compass directions, such directions will not be too unfortunate throughout yin metal ox year. Now, yin, we're going to go over the elements kind of one by one here, the element of yin, okay, the constituent of yin, feminine, night, cold, water, wet, winter, inner, passive, relaxed, contracting, soft, and ventral, 
ventral. Now, metal. For metal, the attribute of metal, we have ambition, self-reliant, willful, strong, self-assured. It also is known to go with grief, dry, pungent, and the nose. With willpower and resolve, strong as metal. Strong as metal. Okay. Now, general ox associations, for the general ox associations in general. So, ox by itself. Just by itself, it's associated with yin anyway. So that's a double whammy with the yin. Also winter, okay? Also earth, Capricorn, we had mentioned that. Rose or tulip are the flowers. Uh, there's might be a few others, but rose or tulip. And also 12th month on Chinese lunar calendar, the 12th month on the Chinese lunar calendar. There are five elements in Chinese astrology being fire, metal, wood, earth, and water. Now for the, the sort of the cycle of life, according to Chinese astrology and, and feng shui and Chinese, it goes into Chinese medicine. I did learn a little bit of Chinese medicine when I was in nursing school. Uh, from a, um, one of our teachers uh, was from China and she, she taught us a lot of important things like moxibustion and th things like that so we would have that knowledge. So fire controls metal, metal controls wood, wood controls earth, earth controls water, and water controls fire. And this is the circle of life. Again, comes full circle where we attempt to balance the five elements. Now, also, we're going to just give you uh, briefly again the, what each element in Chinese astrology, what it goes with in, as far as on, on the person's, in the person's head, what organs it's associated with and what attributes uh, each element is associated with of the, each of the five elements. So, for fire, it is joy, heat, bitter, and tongue. For earth, it is worry, damp, sweet and mouth. For metal it is grief, dry, pungent, and the nose. For water it is fear, cold, salty, the ears. And for wood it is anger, wind, sour, and the eyes. To calculate the Chinese New Year, simply count the second new moon that comes after the winter solstice. Information found in this document and in this video is based on the oral tradition known as Kabbalah, taught to me by Rosicrucian clergy when I was but a young girl, the facts of which I have committed to memory. Thank you for joining us and join us again.